गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग प्रोबली डू अब इट्स सेवन फोर्टी फाइव आई जस्ट गॉट वो कैन अप आई एम सपोज टू टेक समी टू टू रन सम एर रन इन इसीलिए एंड आई वन टेक यू गाइज अलॉन्ग बट बिफोर आई गो एज यूजल आई हैव टू लिव माई फैमिली सोटेड फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट विच इज वॉट आई एम डूइंग एंड आई एम इन सच अ हारी आई एम टू गो नाइव एन फिल्म फॉर यू सो I am over here. Uh let me let me turn you around. I'm basically making uh hot dogs and this is a salsa kachumbari and some uh, smokies with some some what? Some fried onions. And then I'm going to be using some tomato sauce and some mustard. So basically I'm just cutting the the what? The smoky into half put one half on this end then put the onions and then put the salsa and then now i'm going to uh put some tomato sauce and some small mustard for those who want okay Maybe so that's okay so yeah that's basically it so i'm not even going to show you making all of it i just wanted to let you know what is going on this morning Anyway, it's time to head out. I was heading to town. I was supposed to meet up with my sister in town at uh this was around 10 11 so yeah and now unfortunately this is what the mat did to my blouse oh my god it pissed me off the window had uh like a metal sticking out and this is it messed up my blouse and i felt so bad is i am mad but not too mad and anyway, i got to town uh before my sister did and i am looking for books to read this year like i said in my vision board i really want to read more books this year so i was just checking out some books that are usually sold by the street side i usually find that these books are underrated people like just pass them by but if anything they are really nice books you can find here and they are way cheaper compared to the supermarket ones or the book um library ones wait the bookshop ones yeah so here i was just checking and i realized these were more motivational and inspirational books i normally go for fiction because life is too hard life is too real you don't need another person reminding you how real life is <laughs> Yeah so tell me the kind of books that you are planning on reading this year is it self motivation is it inspirational is it fiction is it um yeah what kind of books are you looking for i personally i'm looking for thrillers so at this point these ones did not like uh resonate with me so i went across the street to the other side to where taskis was this is at archives so opposite archives on the street is another place they were selling books at such a good price oh my god 100 bob for books books and books on end ah this was amazing and then they had the 50 bob offer so these ones were tinier smaller books but they were really amazing anyway i ended up getting two books for myself and i feel so good cuz they're going to take me for the month of january before i go and get others anyway my sister came and we headed to isili to do our shopping she is um not renovating she's furnishing her house and making it over it's a new house so we needed curtains and that is what we went shopping for and we found this shop uh it's called fantastic shop 
yeah the name is fantastic and the sellers there the name is saida i'll link her details in the description box below because well she was really nice to us and the prices are amazing the quality of the curtains are amazing i have also done another video of isili curtains before if you haven't watched that one i am gonna link it here as well it is of my house makeover so where i actually got my own curtains it's not the same place so this is a different place but the prices are awesome and the materials for the curtains are fantastic so that's the number right there if you need your curtains for the house and you're gonna get some amazing curtains and good prices so yeah i find that isili is a really nice place to be able to revamp your house if you're looking to get like home decor or curtains or carpets basically anything to do with homemaking uh isili is a good place to go if you're in nairobi if you're not in nairobi you can send someone i know someone who go, runs such errands her name is tina lois i will link her number here i will also leave her details she has a youtube channel by the same name tina lois she runs errands for people she gets them curtains and other stuff that you will need if you're not within uh nairobi so anyway eventually we got some good curtains i'll show you in another video but there they are and I headed home very late at night and my amazing husband was making dinner for us. So he was making pilau. This was really, really awesome. I felt so good. This was like the best pilau I have had in a long time. And after eating dinner, I decided to make some tea scones. So the tea scones, uh, the recipe, I already have it up in my channel. If you have not watched it, I'm going to link it here. But you basically need... Um, self-raising flour so you need like three cups of self-raising flour you need a cup of sugar a cup of butter and some buttermilk which we also call maziwamala in kenya and some vanilla essence it's the simplest breakfast recipe you can ever have so i am making this so that people can have them tomorrow morning for breakfast i hope you are enjoying the video so far if you are give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section what you think and yeah give it a like if you're a returning subscriber thank you thank you so much for always coming back to watch another of my video if you're new here my name is alice rito and i do family based content i do family vlogs i do cooking cleaning days in my life and a bit of skincare okay so if that is your kind of content kindly hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified each time i post a video but in the meantime enjoy this recipe and if i don't talk to you again in this video i'll see you in my next one it feels like the end of an era Last time that we'll be together Might sneak up on us overnight We're all grown up moving along We're all finding where we belong You never know when we'll say goodnight For the last time So while you're here I'll waste no tears On a wishing we had want you to know how much you mean to me How much I still need you I can't lie, my heart is broken Won't leave these things unspoken I know you'll have to leave I just can't believe that This is it, isn't it? This is it This is it, isn't it? This is it I know that we may be farther, but we will still be together for every milestone in our lives. You're all grown up moving along, you found exactly where you belong, and I know that we'll still have our ties. So while we're here, let's give a cheer to everything we through I can't lie, I'm sad to see you go but I 
just want you to know how much you mean to me How much I still need you I can't lie, my heart is broken So I ended up using just half cup of the buttermilk And then I want my teaspoons to have rough edges you know like the ones in the supermarket like they are not like circular like good circular shape so that is why i'm doing them like this but you can cut yours using a cookie cutter to make them round mine i just want them to be rough and nice and you know that like the original teaspoons and they ended up being the most amazing teaspoons i have ever made oh my god you should definitely try this you should you should <laughs> If these things aren't spoken, I know you'll have to leave I just can't believe that this is it, isn't it? This is it, this is it, isn't it? This is it The egg white usually give it the brown shiny color at the top so that is why you apply it on top and then you're going to be baking them at uh, 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. I usually check them at 17 minutes but you can check them at whatever time between that time. It can take longer or shorter. So this was after around 18 minutes and they look amazing i didn't expect them to like fluff up like this <laughs> i didn't expect them to be this big oh and they are so soft but crunchy now we wait for them to cool down yes then we're gonna have them for breakfast wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Mm -hmm. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching to this point. I really do appreciate you. If you have learned something, let me know in the comment section. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for supporting my channel.